In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on August 29, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football Football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Georgia vs. Clemson The Clemson Tigers are set to face off against the Georgia Bulldogs this Saturday in a college football showdown at the iconic Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This highly anticipated match will undoubtedly draw attention as both teams look to make a statement early in the season. Last season, the Clemson Tigers posted a 9-4 record overall, going 4-4 in Atlantic Coast Conference play. This left them tied for 6th place in the conference standings alongside Duke and North Carolina. Unfortunately, Clemson's 2023 three season got off to a rocky start with a disappointing 28-7 loss to Duke on Labor Day. Throughout the season, the Tigers faced further setbacks, losing to Florida State, Miami, and NC State. However, they found their stride toward the end, stringing together four consecutive wins against Notre Dame, Georgia Tech, North Carolina, and South Carolina to close out the regular season. Clemson capped off their season with a thrilling 38-35 victory over Kentucky in the Gator Bowl. Despite some offensive struggles in 20 2023, the Tigers are looking to bounce back this year, returning key players like quarterback Cade Klubnik and leading rusher Phil Maffa. Top receiver Tyler Brown is also back in the mix, and with Clemson's traditionally strong defense, they are poised to be a formidable force once again. On the other side, the Georgia Bulldogs had an impressive season in 2023, finishing with a stellar 13-1 record and an 8-1 mark in Southeastern Conference play. They dominated their first 12 games, remaining undefeated until the Southeastern Conference championship game, where they fell to Alabama in a tight 27-24 contest. That lone loss kept them out of the college football playoff, but the Bulldogs didn't let it define their season. They bounced back in spectacular fashion, crushing Florida State 63-3 in the Orange Bowl to cap off a 13-win campaign. Despite missing out on the CFP, Georgia proved to be one of the top teams in the nation. This year, they return with high expectations, especially with quarterback Carson Beck back under center. Beck was outstanding last season, completing over 72% of his passes for 3,941 yards, 20 four touchdowns and just six interceptions. With a solid offensive line providing protection, Beck should have ample opportunities to connect with his receivers. Additionally, the Bulldogs strengthened their roster by adding running back Travis Etienne via the transfer portal, and even though they lost star tight end Brock Bowers, they still boast a deep receiving core. This matchup between Clemson and Georgia promises to be a thrilling contest between two elite programs. While Clemson's defense has the potential to disrupt Georgia's high-powered offense, especially Especially this early in the season, the key question is whether Clemson's offense can improve upon their 2023 performance. Last season, we saw Clemson falter against Duke in the opener, and there are lingering doubts about whether they can keep pace with Georgia for a full 60 minutes. I anticipate a competitive game in the early stages, but ultimately, I believe Georgia will pull ahead in the second half. Therefore, the Georgia Bulldogs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Akron vs. Ohio State the Akron Zips and the Ohio State Buckeyes are set to clash on Saturday in a college football showdown at Ohio Stadium. Akron is in the midst of trying to rebuild their football program, and there's hope that this could finally be the year they start turning things around. Last season, the Zips faced significant challenges, particularly with their offensive line, which struggled to protect the quarterback and open up lanes for the running game. This year, the team has a new quarterback, Ben Finley, who they hope can revitalize the offense and bring some much-needed success. Additionally, the team has brought in Michigan State transfer Jordan Simmons, who is expected to make an impact in the running back position. They will also rely on wide receiver Justin Campbell, a standout from the junior college ranks, who has the potential to be a game-changing playmaker. On defense, there were some bright spots from last season that Akron can build upon, but they face an enormous challenge in this matchup. 
Leading tackler Antavius Fish returns, and he'll need to be the defensive anchor. For Akron to stand a chance, the defense will have to come up with some crucial turnovers. On the other side, Ohio State, led by Ray Day, is fully aware that beating the Michigan Wolverines is a must to keep his job secure, and this team has the talent to compete for a national title. The Buckeyes offense, now under the guidance of Chip Kelly, is something that fans are buzzing about. While their offensive line was solid in the passing game last season, it struggled to create significant running opportunities. In this game, Ohio State will have Will Howard, a transfer from Kansas State, under center. The strength of this Buckeyes team lies in their deep and talented running back group. Quinchon Judkins, who transferred from Ole Miss, joins Trevayon Henderson, who had 11 touchdowns last season. Ohio State's defense, which is known for its dominance, allowed just 11 points per game last year. With seven returning starters, they aim to continue their turnover-heavy approach. When it comes to betting on football, understanding the key numbers is crucial, and the side you pick makes all the difference. Honestly, if the spread for this game were seven touchdowns or more, you might be able to argue in favor of Akron. However, since the spread is with Within seven touchdowns, the best approach seems to be backing Ohio State at home. All indications point to Ohio State being a strong contender for the national championship this year. Last season, their offense was somewhat underwhelming, averaging just 30 and a half points per game against football bowl subdivision teams, which ranked only 35th nationally, a disappointing result given their talent. The Buckeyes made some smart moves by bringing in offensive guru Chip Kelly and adding an experienced quarterback in Will Howard. Expect the starters to put the game out of reach early, allowing Ohio State to lean on their powerful rushing attack. Although relying heavily on the run might not typically favor covering a large spread, Ohio State's loaded backfield with Judkins and Henderson should still result in plenty of explosive plays. Therefore, the Buckeyes to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Akron's primary issue last season was their offense, and while they've made changes, including bringing in Ben Finley as quarterback, the unit managed to average just 15 and a half points per game last year. Facing a top-tier, veteran Ohio State defense presents an incredibly tough challenge, and it's hard to imagine Akron finding much success in this game. There's a real possibility that the Zips could be shut out entirely, with a final score potentially being 49-0 or 56-0. While Akron's defense was their strong point last season, they're not up against Mid-American Conference competition here. They're facing Ohio State, one of the elite programs in college football. Although they might make a couple of stops throughout the game, the Buckeyes are likely to run wild and extend their lead to seven touchdowns or more. While Akron's offense may show improvement this season, this matchup against Ohio State's elite defense is a daunting task. Akron is likely to struggle to even cross the 50-yard line and may not score more than a field goal. With the expected lack of production from Akron's offense, it's hard to envision this game exceeding the total points projection. Even if the final score ends up being 52-3 or 52-6, it would still fall under the projected total. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Colorado State vs. Texas An exciting matchup in Week 1 features the preseason number 3-ranked Texas Longhorns hosting the Colorado State Rams from the Mountain West Conference. This game highlights impressive quarterback talent, with Texas Quinn Ewers, currently third in the Heisman race, and Colorado State's Braden Fowler Nicolosi, who led the Rams to a top-20 passing attack last season. Both quarterbacks are expected to showcase their skills, making this game a compelling watch for fans. The Longhorns, however, need to address some glaring issues from last season, particularly their 38.38% third down conversion rate and their nine lost fumbles. If Texas wants to be considered serious contenders and cover the spread in this matchup, these stats will need significant improvement. Additionally, Texas defense struggled against the pass last season, which plays into Colorado State's strength, as the Rams boasted the ninth best passing offense in the country. With many key players returning, Colorado State is unlikely to win, but they should be able to move the ball effectively put points on the board, and extend their possessions. Another factor to consider is that Texas may have one eye on their Week 2 showdown against Michigan, potentially leading them to keep their game plan simple to avoid revealing too much. This could mean more straightforward play calling, leaving room for the Rams to exploit any weaknesses. Additionally, if Texas jumps out to an early lead, backup quarterback Arch Manning might get some reps. When asked about the possibility, head coach Steve Sarkisian kept things vague, saying, we will find out. Despite their strengths, Texas will face some challenges this season after losing key players from their 2023 campaign. Running back Jonathan Brooks was drafted by the Carolina Panthers, and wide receiver Xavier Worthy joined the Kansas City Chiefs. 
Chiefs. Together, this duo accounted for 16 touchdowns last year. The Longhorns have reloaded, particularly on defense through the transfer portal, but they may need some time to find their rhythm. This gives Colorado State a decent shot at covering the spread, especially if Texas pass defense continues to show vulnerabilities, allowing the Rams to score a couple of touchdowns and potentially secure a backdoor cover in the later stages of the game. Although the Longhorns are undoubtedly the more talented team and are expected to cruise past the Rams, they have a major game against Michigan in Week 2. Texas has the higher profile, a ranking beside their name and a roster filled with household names. However, this line may be inflated, considering the talent and experience that Colorado State brings to the table. With a quarterback who had a standout season and was even attracting interest from top programs like Georgia and USC, Colorado State could make things more competitive than expected. While an upset is unlikely, betting on Colorado State to cover the spread as underdog seems like a solid pick for this game. Expect plenty of scoring in this contest, as Colorado State's ability to move the ball through the the air against Texas defense could surprise many. This will likely push the combined score over the posted total of 59 and a half points. Last season, Colorado State managed to cover a 60-point spread in five of their games, including a 43-35 loss to Colorado. On the other hand, Texas saw five of their games eclipse that total as well, including their final three matchups of the season. Considering both teams frequently rely on their passing attacks, the game could stretch longer with more clock stoppages. In 2020, Texas averaged 46 points over their last three games, facing tough competition from Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, and Washington. While they may not hit that mark again, a 40-point target seems reasonable. Colorado State has enough offensive firepower to challenge Texas through the air and contribute to hitting the over. While the Rams' defense may struggle to contain the Longhorns' offense, the potential for a high-scoring game is strong. The Longhorns could easily surpass 40 points, building a significant lead before slowing down in the second half allowing the Rams to add to their total. Colorado State has scored at least 22 points in 10 of their last 12 games, regardless of location. In the end, expect a high-scoring affair in Austin. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.